First of all, I'm disappointed in the courtroom. I'm here, Mr. Trump, Mr. Trump. He is former President Trump. Give him some respect. Speaking on Fox News Channel outside the courthouse, Alabama Senator Tommy Tuberville took prosecutors to task for how they addressed former President Trump, raising a question that comes up from time to time. What is the appropriate way to address a president no longer in office? So let's verify. Our sources are the Emily Post Institute, the Former President's Act, and the Associated Press Stylebook. Emily Post literally wrote the book on etiquette, and since then her eponymous organization has kept society informed on what is considered the proper way to behave and speak. On how to address a former president, they say that in a formal setting, the correct form is Mr. Last Name. In the context of a federal courtroom, where there's the expectation of decorum in dress and behavior, it could then be argued that the senator is wrong in expecting Trump to be referred to as former president. Places that do mandate the term former president include government agencies and their associated websites and texts. That's outlined in the Former Presidents Act. And for members of the press, many follow the guidelines of the Associated Press, which states that when referencing living former presidents, AP style is former president on first reference, last name thereafter. So when to refer to a former president as former president or Mr. followed by last name needs context depending on the setting and situation. With your Verify, I'm Chase McPherson.